two, one. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our super late 10 super p.m., late. which is now 10.45, yep. well, someone couldn't get their shit together. Yeah, you know, Jeremy was sitting there for, like, 15 minutes, and, then and you we were here. waiting for you. Oh. <laughs> I went. I hate you guys. Like <laughs> I hate you guys. Ah. Uh... <laughs> So, this is, like, the first episode in, what, like, five, six weeks that we've had Jeremy? Not that long. It's been, oh, it's like for three. Jeremy, yeah, it's been a while. It's been since I started school. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's been So, quite September. A few weeks. Yeah. It's been, like, August. Well, the last time that, that you've been with us, Jeremy. Yeah. yeah. It's been, I wanna say, like, three? And I'm a tired, tired boy, let me tell you. <laughs> it's been about it. two weeks since we've done podcast. So, yep. Yep. So, oh, where do we start? I, I'm so out of the loop on this. I don't, I don't, how do I run my own show? I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. I, don't even I know. think at some point we've we all hijacked start the show from you, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to sit here and drink my wine for a second. Mm -hmm. Whoever doesn't have booze has to go first. Um... Well, I've got tea, so... Alex, you're first, like always. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guy now, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! Well, as you can probably tell from my feed, I'm in a different location. Hey, it's a fancy bed yo. stuff. Is that a good thing, a bad thing, what? Like it could well. <laughs> well, I'm further away from you guys, and that is that is a big, big bad. Clearly, because I would, I just would have loved to hang out with you guys before I moved here. Um, I am from. I am currently in uh, St. Louis, Missouri, Chesterfield. Oh wow, cat! That is the saddest puppy dog face I've ever seen in my life. So. I feel really bad now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I'm like, that's that's a sad face. Okay. It's like I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> You'll come no, back. No, we to wouldn't this be thing. looking sad. We'd probably laugh if you killed somebody. Yeah, we would. Yeah, I mean, it, right now it's really just coming down to finding work for me. And the thing is, since the house that I was staying at with my with my family is going to be sold, it means that they need to kind of fix it up. So, uh, I needed to go somewhere kind of quick. Uh, and since I didn't have the money to, to, for like to buy something on my own that quickly, I am staying with family in St. Louis right now. And once I get money, um, then I will start reevaluating where I would go to live for a more permanent setting. Uh, I might be able to stay with another friend of mine. But uh, I am com I am in no way outing the idea of coming back to Pittsburgh because I'm clearly missed. I guess Pittsburgh is a fun place. Pittsburgh is awesome. Yeah, it it was really just an, an unfortunate bit of circumstances that I really couldn't adjust to that quickly. So, um, but I am around some other friends of mine, which is nice. Some people I know um from high school. Nice. So between that, um, it's been uh, I've been playing some video games. Uh, I've been recording a lot of stuff for videos, so I've um, uh, been kicking that into high gear. I actually did a cooperative video with a friend of mine who just is starting to get his own channel. Uh, a friend of mine from high school, so he is. We did. A, we've been playing Sonic Boom: Rise of Lyric. For the Wii U, because we hate ourselves. <laughs> what is that? You're going to have to spell this out for me. Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric, is a Sonic the Hedgehog game. It's the one that everyone hated right when it first came out. Okay. <laughs> right when it was first announced, when Knuckles had like huge muscles. Oh, that thing. Oh, yeah. That game. Well, actually, that was originally going to be a TV show. 
which this game is in the same universe as that TV show. So this is a sort of, in a way, a licensed game. Um, it's not very good at all. It has like a freaking 20 frames per second, and there's so many glitches. It has this nasty tendency where if you're not directly together, it will magically teleport you and your friends somewhere else. It, it is sounds like a blast. So it like between I'd watch the funny Hunter's thing play. is that this came out the same week as Assassin's Creed Unity. Oh, so, big so it's been a very there. glitch-filled week. Uh, we'll we talk about that so a little bit much later. To talk about with Assassin's Creed, <laughs> but yeah. uh, God. Rise of Lyric is bad. But I'm, you know, it's good that me and him are kind of collaborating a little bit. So there's the first episode of that is on my channel. And he does these little animations, so he he's his his channel's looking good. He just he needs to speak up. <laughs> he he sounds like Michael Sarah. I mean, Matt, you're great, but you see, but you he literally sounds like Michael Sarah, and I mean that in an endearing way. So between that, I've been trying to keep up on the anime as far as um been watching. I haven't watched this week's Log Horizon yet. I have watched Amagi Brilliant Park. Big shit. You'd love it. Actually, actually, th these last couple episodes, I'm just kind of like, meh. Can we get, can we He'll get... love it. He'll love it because it's about the ninja. That's well, true. I saw the I saw the one where she was like in Dreamland, and now I know that the next one is going to be um when she is uh training to get the teachings. Um, Stuff. But a lot has happened in that series since we had last had a chance to talk about yes, it. Yes, so. it's so true. Stuff has gone down. I like her real form. Where she actually looks like she's 20 years old. Oh, but yeah. Still incredibly short. <laughs> yeah, well, true. she is short. In, in, I know that the description is there. But I've been watching uh, Amagi Brilliant Park is weird. And I've been kind of taking some time to watch that I can't understand what my husband is saying anime. Which is... Oh, dear God, it's super weird. It's so... Well, it's based on a four comma. So it only has like three minutes to tell a story and it goes off on so many tangents. The best episode is when she gets drunk. It's the best part. Absolutely. And it's like, that's so funny. Drunk. Okay. It's funny because when she's like raping her husband, you hear jackhammer noises. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. It is true. It is yep. true. Well, I've heard of the pile driver, but that's a bit ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> he chimes in out of nowhere. We need some of that over over <laughs> this way. <laughs> I mean, you just see the face of the guy like he has tears down his face. It's just a close-up of his face, his and face? you just hear yep. jackhammer noises. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. There's the games. There's... um. That's really it. So I'll shut up. Next. Next. Does that make it me? Let's make it you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, um. Where have you been? <laughs> school, work, more work. Oh, dear God. Um, okay, so basically the reason I stopped showing up on Tuesdays is because I started having class on Tuesdays. I'm in three different programs at school at the same time. Not counting the original program I'm in at Cal that I still have to keep up to date for for when I get back there. I'm in welding, machining, and mechatronics. Mechatronics is basically automation except, you know... Dude, 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 dude. Yeah, dude. add in if some other stuff. No, if any of anyone here is watching Sword Art Online, they know what mechatronics is. I'm, I'm not watching, watching um, Sword Art Online. I because do don't have watch a Sword fun Art welding Online. project that I've been working on. Because, yes. you know, Kirito... <clears throat> oh, dear that's God. pretty cool, that hammer. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's really 20 cool. what pound hammer? Uh, yeah, right now it's 25. It's going to be about 30 when it's done. It's a full-sized <laughs> Thor hammer made out of quarter plate. And I about threw my shoulder out. <laughs> I, I can still hold it straight out, but only just barely. Um, so I can't wait to get it all done, nice and polished up, and I'm going to like etch the words into the side with my Dremel and then take a brazing rod and fill it in so it's nice and golden. And then I want to take it to conventions and have people ask to hold it. 
<laughs> can I hold that? <laughs> if you be worthy. Dong. If you can. Uh, um, also working in machining class, I'm starting to make actual, like, the Assassin's Creed pop-out blades. I had a plexiglass version that worked, so I'm starting to make one out of metal. The blade is not metal. Don't come and arrest me. It's going to be made out of foam. Um, but... So doing a lot of that, learning about hydraulic and pneumatic systems, helped build a 20-some-foot-tall snowman for Westmoreland County Fairgrounds, um, and dealing with car issues, because that's always fun. Um, I feel you there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the old car died, and it needs a complete engine rebuild, and I'm not doing that with it being, like, freaking 20 degrees outside. It was so, bad today. Yeah. It is cold so, everywhere. I'm here. still working out some stuff with, because my license was still in one state, and I'll have to transfer it to another. But I've got the financing squared away, and I've got the down payment down, so pretty soon I'll be driving a new Corolla, so I'm excited about that. Um, let's see, what else have I been into other than that, and working at the gym, and more school, and yeah, that's about it. Um <laughs> I have found that I truly love an oxyacetylene cutting torch. That thing is a blast to play with. Um, and a lot of the manual machining tools, I'm kind of kicking myself for not taking CNC this semester because I can't take it again until fall now. But um, <laughs> it'll be kind of cool. <laughs> Peanut gallery? You gonna spill this, or we just have to make it up? Because I yeah, can make it up. How, how about one? <laughs> yeah. It says, "I don't know what he's fixing, but mine just broke." I can't really see what the picture is. Muscles. Somebody standing on a couch. Picture of muscles. Uh, p picture of muscles. No. Oh. I don't know what he's fixing, Do but mine think just it's broke. The gun show. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, with that stupid hammer around mine, have been getting bigger. Yeah, <laughs> that thing is heavy. Well, it's funny if you do a curl with your hand, um, like straight like this, and this is gonna look really bad. But curl that way. It's called a hammer curl. So I've been doing hammer curls with the hammer. Yo, dog. I heard you like hammer. <laughs> well, I'm over here getting I mean, hammered. Technically, <laughs> we are. Yeah, the two of you are. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost, sober. I almost forgot. Thank you. <laughs> but as long know, as it's... it doesn't turn into New Year's Eve again. Hey, it's not my fault <laughs> that you fed me. What was it? Kraken, Two, like full Kraken and Captain of Kraken. Morgan. Oh and yeah, yet I drank it the was whole Kraken, rest of that bottle Captain of Morgan, point. and Mead. Yeah, I chased it with Mead. Yeah. I'm usually that's where my problems run into things because I'll just get they'll start me off with hits of really really bad liquor and then I'll chase it with mead because that's you know so much lighter. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> yeah, that's where I that's got where Josh are. drunk as all hell for New Year's Eve. We need to we need to have an intervention. Well, <laughs> should I? Uh, me been... for getting him drunk or him for being drunk? Both of yous. <laughs> Both of you. Will there be booze there? <laughs> sure. No, normally, I, I really don't drink that much at all. No, just, he does. Kind of loaded like with tonight. tranquilizer. <laughs> we. But yeah, pretty much. You'll where be I've buzzed been is for a while. <laughs> machine shop, <laughs> welding shop. Um, actually, it's kind of cool. Uh, mostly, what I want to work on welding wise is like the really high precision stuff. And the guy who's teaching the class owns a company that actually makes some of the fuel pumps for the civilian space agencies. So, you know, I, I kind of lucked into a good teacher there. Um, but once I get done with this semester and next semester, assuming I get this car stuff straightened out in time to not get bad grades this semester, I'll be um, getting some of my welding and machining certificates and certifications, and I'll probably go do that over the summer. And the... Uh, Actually, the semester at Penn State I need to do for Cal, I can do through the college I'm going to now and save about $4,000. So I'm going to do that. And then hopefully back to Cal next fall, if not next spring. Yeah, that's about it for me. Making Lofty. a giant-ass hammer. Lofty goals with this one. What are you pointing at? Oh. Oh, I just got to look at the 
thing. Oh, are you pointing at me? Yeah. <laughs> I actually had to go and look at the Twitch thing mm -hmm. to figure out who you were pointing at. Oh. I'm actually looking at what we're really, like, there are three, four, five seconds before. I like how you just sort of, like, like just put new text over the other old time. <laughs> like, this is a Band-Aid. This is a Band-Aid. Quit fucking up my layout. Shh. <laughs> I didn't do hey, anything. Hey, if this is oh, what time we're gonna be doing. Oh, by the way, I don't stream on hit. I don't stream on Hitbox oh. anymore, so you need to change that too. Leia well, yeah, has been <laughs> fucked. Mission accomplished. So what have I been up Wait, to? Wait, what do you? You don't stream on Hitbox? I stream on Twitch now, now again, I, cause Twitch. I, I got like a new call. You He's shitting back. me? He's back. There, it's fixed. <laughs> I'm pleased. <laughs> oh. oh, I miss this. I miss yep. this. It's sad, so Jeremy much. can you do it better than I can. Come back. Who's up for a four way? Uh, uh, you guys are I'm in. <laughs> no, it's Who's sort of up like, for a four way? Someone in chat just 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 posted that. It's a fancy monkey. Fancy Twenty two of them. <laughs> so Josh. <laughs> What I don't know, that, that guy on the boat's kind of nice. <laughs> Are we really getting right? into this water world discussion now? Dude. Hang on. We're... <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, on the boat. Is Cardinal going to be joining us? No, Cardinal's going to be Nah, he can't make it. Yeah. Huh. So, um, similar car issues on my end. Um, We've ha all had car issues, had car I swear issues. to God. Like, it all happened at once. Me. It actually got to a not point me. where my car wouldn't really start unless you, like, it would turn over, but it wouldn't stay turned over. Like, you actually had to continually depress the gas to keep it on. And if you let off, it stalled out and died. Not good for winter. So, and the thing was, it'd be way more expensive to fix everything on it than actually mm -hmm. getting a new car. So, what'd uh, you end up getting? A 01 Monte Carlo. <laughs> Interesting. Still newer than my car. Yeah, but I mean, it's not bad. The gas mileage is going to jump up to like 30 miles, which is better than my current 15 mile per gallon. At least also, gas is cheaper now. It's also uh, for a good drive. Uh, but if I move. What? I'm not, every, single, every single time I've moved, I've been like. Josh, I need to buy oh, your vehicle. Uh, because I have, I had a, uh, a, a big explorer. Or, yeah, so I used to, We would like, throw all the crap Why do you keep happen? enabling her behavior? It's not my Jeez. fault. It just kind of happens that way. So, can't drink well, I guess, well, to be fair. I guess I can't move anymore. Nope, and, you're stuck Andy in that also pink says, room. Andy also says hi. Hi, hi Andy. Andy. They all say hi back. Nice. How's the Batman? She's stuck in that pink room for the rest of her life. Now, getting into what I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of Assassin's Creed, and that story fills right into the Assassin's Creed thing, because this one time, if anyone who doesn't know, I have a, uh, I have a uh, living situation that is seriously made straight for a sitcom. I want to call it, it straight. I want to call it straight man out. It will be great, because the crazy barbarian guy who is me, lives upstairs with two gay guys, a gay couple. And it's like just the interesting culture clash that happens all the time is hilarious. We love it. And this one time, it was the first time that Andy, my friend, was, he's been like my friend since middle school, was playing Assassin's Creed 2, right? <laughs> and without skipping a beat, you guys remember my... Uh, my Enzio is Batman thing that actually got me involved in this podcast in the first place. Yeah, that was that, the title yes. of that yeah. podcast. That's that's nope. that was the beginning of Josh making his way into this podcast. But that all came from the guy downstairs because the first time he played, he like walked up to a bunch of guards. He just threw down a smoke bomb, killed them all, and went, "I'm with the Batman." <laughs> it was amazing, and <laughs> it was exactly that. Enzio's, Enzio's it's totally like, it's, it sounds like Mario. It like, is. I'm a Batman. 
Well, you remember in the... Hey, it's a me, three. Mario! Don't you recognize your uncle? It's a me, yeah, it's Mario! Yeah, that was completely and, intentional, yeah. And it Nintendo was. could do absolutely nothing about it. Nothing. <laughs> but, yes. Um, besides your typical work, and actually having done, like, doing a couple of interesting projects for work, because it's going into the holiday season, it's parade season, I've been filming a lot more junk in the area for local businesses and whatnot, um... Lots of video games. My Steam pile has actually grown fairly exponentially. Uh, I got through... Uh, you still haven't streamed any of it, though. I'm not pr if I get into anything, it's going to be YouTubing stuff. I don't well, see myself... It. I don't we see need myself to play Worms. I know that, you have it. Yeah, isn't that like on a Humble got Bundle? It. Isn't there like a Humble Bundle full of Worms games? <laughs> I know he has at least one of them, because I sent him Worms. Uh, I, play, I, I, I don't even want to know. No, like the game Worms, as in the thing that you know, they played on Two Saints you know, Play, which is I know worms. that's where you got the idea for it, was Two Saints Play. Worms. I know what Worms is. We're not talking go. like... I had sea bugs earlier. <laughs> Arcade reference over everyone's heads. Don't worry about it. I'll explain it later. You should get that Humble Bundle. With Saints Row 4. Uh. But stuff that I've been playing, <laughs> with, I've been playing uh, both Assassin's Creed games. I recently picked up a super big deal and I got all of my old mm. Legacy of Kane games back. I've been, I watched that series since I was like a teenager and all that. And I actually managed to pick up both prototype games as well, which I haven't started on, but it'll be happening eventually. And I also ended up playing for the first time. I've gotten through it. Uh, Telltale Games, The Wolf Among Us. <gasps> Fantastic game. I was going to say, what did you think of that? Because that was amazing. I think that game was me being Dresden. <laughs> I think that's what that game was. I've had a thing with like werewolf stuff forever. And that's exactly what it was. It was fantastic. I've read the Fables comic before. You, you taunt me. I do taunt you. Make me drink more booze. But... Um, actually, since I played that game, most of Telltale Games' stuff has made it onto my wish list with the Isn't Walking Tale Dead games. Uh, I was going to say, they're the one who did uh, Walking Dead games. Telltale Walking does Dead. Walking Dead. They're They've also the game just, of released, games. just released the fact that they're doing Tales from the Borderlands. Just came, or the trailer just came out for it. Uh, last week, I well, They announced that a long time ago, I guess. Is there a new trailer? There's a trailer for it now. Looks fun. Um, it, they have. Looks like there's at least some characters from Borderlands Two in it. Timeline wise, apparently it's post Borderlands Two, so it's not like one in the pre sequel and any of that. It's post Two, because I know Zero is in the trailer himself. So um, that looks like fun. It's gonna be good. And I'm into those. Everyone's hyped about the Game of Thrones game that Telltale's going to be doing. I actually hadn't even heard about that, but I believe it. So, uh, I think... it, it's it's was um, <clears throat> they released some screenshots pretty recently. It doesn't look as cartoony as The Walking Dead and Wolf Among Us does, but I think that that's good because it is uh, a little more serious because it's Game of Thrones and it's going to be based on the TV series, not the books. Here's a little Does that spoiler. Mean we finished this century. Ha. <laughs> spoiler. Oh. Spoiler. Your character's probably going to die. I just love that scene where, like, really? um, I'd be shocked. Who, who? Someone interviewed, like, someone like clipped to feed. I think it was like Colbert or something. He just says, "I'm just gonna go see what uh, what Martin's doing," and they pan over to him, and he's like, "Hey, how you doing?" He's like. I just killed three of your favorite characters. No! It's <laughs> about right. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. I just love how he just casually goes, I just three killed three of your favorite characters. It's it's <laughs> like what he's known for now. But Yeah, but... Mm. I still love the one that's like, um, it's got him looking like this and says, every time someone asks me when the next book's coming out, I kill a Stark. And then the next panel over is Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. and the Iron Man so good. Excuse me? Um, <laughs> since there's actually practically no TV and movie stuff going on at all right now, um, 
I've been keeping up with uh, Akame Got Kill, and I've been keeping up with Log Horizon. Yay! And all of those superhero shows I've been talking about. Honestly, I haven't really stuck with any of them, except for Constantine, which is quickly becoming you know, I still a favorite. Them. Hmm? You still haven't? No. Well, I've said it before, it's the actor who did the voice for Edward Kenway. Mm-hmm. So, it's surprisingly really good. Like, do you remember back before Supernatural jumped the shark when it was good? It's a lot like that. It's still serious. It's still... He's still an asshole. And that's actually probably the best part about it is he's not really a good guy. He's not. And a couple episodes in, they really showcase that he's much more... It's He's like Dresden if Dresden was a whole different bag of tricks. Hmm. Still deals with detectiving the supernatural and stuff, but where Harry Dresden is a really good guy and a whole buttload of power, Constantine doesn't really have a buttload of power at all. He does, like, exorcism stuff, and he can use charms and things, but he can't, like, say, like, throw fireballs around at all. Like, he has none of that. But he's a manipulative son of a bitch, and he's good at it, and he's tricky as fuck. Like, Loki likes this guy a hmm. lot <laughs> so to, to give you an idea he managed in the comic books with this character he managed to strong arm god by saying okay guys if you let me go to hell give me about i don't know 20 30 years i'll be running the place and then it'll be organized you really want that god himself went you ain't going to hell never Right there. It's, a lo it's much longer than that. It's much more dramatic than that, but he's that kind of guy. Nice. So, it's, it's fun. The acting is good. The effects are actually very good. Um, and they're pretty ballsy with where they're going with it. It's, they're not afraid to pull punches. Like, they, they don't even care. So, I'm actually following Constantine a lot lately. So... I think that's actually everything that I've been up to. Yeah, that's it. Your turn. Yeah, you. She's been getting drunk. <laughs> At least for the last little bit. I talked for a while. I, I got for it. The one thing that I hate about this red wine is it dyes my tongue. Ah. <laughs> okay. Because it's like a red, red wine. Like it's a dark wine red red wine oh dear god <laughs> so like my this tongue is, is gonna be like purple by the time we're done here oh well <clears throat> so other than the fact that i've not gotten assassin's creed i'm i'm kind of glad because i mean i've heard awful 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 yes, things yeah. awful. yes so awful things i'll talk more on that yeah. But it's more of a mixed bag than awful. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait. I, I'm, I probably wouldn't play it like right now immediately anyhow. So I'm just gonna wait. And Heck, right no about, chan. right about now is when the major patches have hit. So at launch, pretty unplayable. Now, pretty Not much any time, any time after now, you're better than you were. Arno. But anyhow. No, not Arno. Anyhow. He's Austrian, all right? He's Austrian. He's not really French. Arno Chan. <laughs> that makes it worse. That <laughs> <laughs> makes it worse. <laughs> and I don't know the name of the guy in Rogue, so. Anywho. Anywho. So I, I have not <laughs> done any of that. However, however. I did manage to put money down, and at some point, you're going to see bright, flashing green oh, God. cat ears. Uh, I can't you believe you that. got those. You did I that. I totally did that. I knew you were going to do it. I had faith. So or I, I lacked faith in your sense of self-restraint is probably I, I I spent the 150 and was like, I have to have these cat ears. And so... Just play really loud dubstep out of them. <laughs> 
Dude, that'd be amazing. I'll dig you out some crap. <laughs> some meowing <laughs> dubstep. There's meowing dubstep somewhere. I'll find I'm, them. I'm, I'm sure. But I, I, I got them. Like, they are not going to come in probably until, like, April or something oh, ridiculous Because they're actually like from Japan, aren't they? No, they're no? U.S. Oh, the the people who were... made them are of oriental descent of some sort. It's it's electronics. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think they're manufactured here in the U.S. But I did get a pair, and they'll be back. Why is... Chat, what are you doing? It says, unable to connect to chat. Reconnect in two seconds. Oh, I see a bunch of stuff. Like Assassin's Creed stuff. is terrible. I see stuff. An exciting revenge know. love story. Well, you guys are going to have to... With some anime you know, bits in there. You know, you guys are going to have to... When Jon Snow dies, I'm going on a Liam Neeson conquest of badassery. <laughs> Liam Neeson is not killing anyone in this scene. In this scene. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, right. so I did get them, and it'll be literally. Somebody just linked cat dubstep. I'll have to check. Are it you out. ready for the rough neck bass? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my Minus god! Minus fifty DKP. <laughs> DKP. Oh my god! DKP. <laughs> However, <laughs> as soon as I can get this, oh, this thing is heavy. Oh, I you did... want us to answer some questions, huh? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Let's see what we can do. Um, I ended up buying something for Halloween off of Crunchyroll. Really? And okay. it happened to be a like grab bag, except for it was a grab box of twenty six like random manga, and it came in the mail. Ugh. How many of them were hentai? Uh, not that many actually. What is your obsession with okay, hentai? Okay, because. Because depending on how many you have, like, Holy you know, God. I can go take them to the trash for you. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think, I don't, I don't see what the names of any of them. I see some. Noel. Um, we have. Dean Angel. Uh, Castlevania, Dean Angel, Fairy Landing, Demon Sacred, uh, Ragnarok. Mekais. Those so sound like anime names. <laughs> um, Elemental Greed, Rhyme Smith, uh, Alice, Missile Happy. Somebody take a screenshot right now, just Str because this is hilarious looking. <laughs> Strawberry Marshmallow Model. What you're looking at now, this picture is a <laughs> picture of the story of her life, just perched over manga. Okay, we have to it's answer true. that question. The chat just put um, it. We have dot to hack. Oh, there is a World of Warcraft one. What? There's a so World of Warcraft asked, one. Jeremy, they're asking <laughs> which one of us would win in a fight. It has yet to be decided yet. He has more training he than I do. He has a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this thing weighs 25 pounds I and think... I can swing the damn thing. <laughs> Like, hold on. Can you guys Fighting hear that? Og. The hammer versus the sword. Jesus. It started the shit. Okay. But yeah, Fine. I got an He's entire... got more training than me. I'll say that. <laughs> also, have I mentioned I've been I love practicing you, chat. throwing said hammer? I love you, chat. I love you, chat. It wasn't ridiculous enough at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Neither, because randomly Postman's Merrick would crash to the wall to whoop ass and collect hentai. He's not wrong. <laughs> I would summon Pyramid. Py, py, I would summon Triangle Girl and she would defend me. Yeah, say, if, we're talking, if you're but, summoning Pyramid Head, then Raytog's going to show up. I, I <laughs> actually did that at a haunted house once. I made it out of chicken wire and cardboard, and it looked damn good, I have to say. Yeah, it did. I also. Made a... Whoa, 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 no, 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 I'm not that good. I'm not that good, <laughs> It was actually pretty neat, because I, I, I made a good, the great knife out of a lot of foam and a pool stick, and I believe I clocked Jeremy's ex in the head with it as hard as I could, totally on accident. It was totally on accident at the time, but I don't feel bad about it now. <laughs> nope. Nope. It was pretty funny. It was really funny.
it was a it was a haunted house deal. But uh, long story short, we had like these doors set up with a big a window that was broken out, and just like in the movie, I put the big, big sword through right in the eye. <laughs> it was hilarious. It was all foam, so nobody got hurt. But people saw it and were like, "Oh shit!" It actually scared people, more, so it worked out. <laughs> What the and fuck I only is played Reptile a Rampage 3D? Uh, sounds like a hentai. I don't want to know. You get you asked like the question, tempest. Alex. You get to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Not it. Not it. <laughs> it just goes. I love this chat. I love this chat so much. Uh, There's only, only one thing I'm getting. You have to click it. <laughs> Tell us all. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly his computer well, goes dark. <laughs> describe hmm. all the things. He's gonna go, oh shit, this is good. Hang on, guys, all I'll of be the back. Things. <laughs> Similar to shoots okay, th this is the only thing I found. <laughs> Similar to shoots and ladders, I imagine. Only far shittier production quality. I'm not wait, 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 nudge, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I don't know. I don't now, know. To be fair, <laughs> Jeremy, I really no. like. I really like those kinds of stupid images because they're. I like when people rearrange the letters like it's that. Just, so yeah. Mario. Did you guys hear that Pokemon Alpha Sapphire has too much water? Too much water? Yes, I did. I did. What? What? Explain, Alex. Explain. Okay. Um. <laughs> and we're moving to the, the game. The segment. thing is, I IGN put out their review of Pokemon huh. Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, and one of the IGN. negatives they said was that there are too many water areas, so you're always surfing around. He's so one of the negatives. He fucked up my house. <laughs> what? It comes right back. Oh, you. One you of one of the layout. negatives for the game Is that they put at the now? end, you know, they yes. do the pro, they do the pros and the cons at the end of the, end hey, of the review, okay. and one of There's the negatives the was just too much water. <laughs> that IGN thought that was a real negative for Pokemon Ruby yeah. and Alpha Ruby and Sapphire, whatever. So after that, it started trending. In, <laughs> okay, fire. so in in what way is there too much water though? They they just thought that there was too many areas where you would need to surf, uh, and okay. that's in in my opinion that's kind of a stupid thing because no, first of all Hoenn Ho Ho has a lot of Hoenn has a lot of areas where there is water, um, some of which can be gone by a boat. So you you know and, and you know it's there's like an islands around the place. So and second of all that's kind of a stupid complaint in general. I mean... It should go on the minuses of every game from now on. Too much water. Too What's much wrong water. with water, world? Too much water. So after that, it was like hashtag too much water <laughs> oh my God. on Twitter. Oh, Karth, we miss you. It was pretty funny. Dude. I'm like, because let's face, let's face it, that's a really stupid complaint. <laughs> IGN is like... I think it's actually gotten to the point where IGN cannot be trusted and everyone knows it. It's just well, here's the thing. I, I IGN actually, and you know, they disclosed they, they they recently revised their reviewing policy, which is okay. But as far as writing the reviews, they kind of suck at it. I mean, I'll be honest. Yeah. Everyone should go check out Hardcore Gamer, aka where Alex writes. Yes. He, he writes for Hardcore Gamer. Everyone should go check it out. This man knows his shit. I, I try. I mean, I really haven't. Re well, I haven't Shut reviewed up, anything there. Although I was the first person to break the surprise release of Five Nights at Freddy Two. That game was interesting, to say the least. The the the, the, the thing is. Um, Why are you chopping off your own head? I'm just resting on it. <laughs> I was like, "Why are you chopping off your own we head?" Have, we always this have the dull edge. Around. Actually, this thing's kind of like, right now, anyway. But I was just I was just on Steam one day, and I see Five Nights at Freddy's Two on the front page. I'm like, oh, did they release like early access or something? And I'm like, wait a second, is this the full game? 
what, and I did all this research. I'm like, this came out today. No one knew about it. It was completely, there, there was no real announcement that this was out. So I find, I'm like scrambling and trying to get information from people like, is this the full game? And then I find a page on the, on the early access that says, just surprise winky face from the creator of the game. And I'm like, yeah, he, he you tricky that. bastard. What I think he did was because, uh, Markiplier was actually a really big deal with the previous Five Nights at Freddy's and getting uh, advertisement about it and lots of other stuff. And oh, I yeah. think he got like, he had like the demo of the first night or whatever. It was like the first few nights. And when yeah. he got through with that, almost immediately after, he was into the regular game. So I'm curious if whether or not there's actually a correlation there might have been well this is this is what i found out about five nights of freddy's 2 it was originally going to be announced for 2015 um he did confirm it the creator scott Cawthon, and then he said actually i can probably bump it up to december so uh it was set to come out of december this year however ever since the game kind of caught on apparently he was in development of it and he had a demo ready to go and he was going to put it on a certain indie game website for anyone to download however the download the demo was taking a long time to go through their processing you know their their process they do to go through it and he's like look i'm t tired of waiting for this i'm just going to release the full game on steam he just he didn't tell any <laughs> publications he just did it he just completely did it That's how i mean you do it, it got green it got greenlit really fast, and I was like, okay, it's on its way. It's coming out really soon. But so he just released it, and he didn't tell anyone about it. And I'm just wandering around on Steam, and I'm like, wait a second. This is out, and no one knows it's out. It's a super nerd. So I write up an article, and I'm the first person on Google News to break this news. And I'm like. Man, there's a like, That's like, so I felt bad. proud of him. So. It's. It, I'm just. It just blows my mind how this went so far under the radar. Because this is, <laughs> to be fair, this is a game about surprises. It. Yeah. So it kind of makes Super sense. Super stressful that, too. It's a mess. Now, the you mentioned Markiplier, and Markiplier did get his hands on an early demo. Uh huh. But it was the full game that was released, so everyone's like, oh. the game itself. I I haven't played it. And I don't want to because I hate jump scares. I think they're stupid. But uh, I've heard it's yeah. actually pretty good. I heard that the new version of the bird character looks like furry porn, but I don't know why he redesigned so, the character like that. But that's why you're playing the game. I'm not playing the game. I don't play that game. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, we see your secret motive. Mmm. Mm. Why did he redesign <laughs> the character like that? I actually think it had to, a lot to do with the fan art in the. Oh yeah, there was a lot of fan a lot art of in that creepy game, creepy mostly of the art. Rule Thirty Four type. Yeah, it was super weird. Like really why? Weird. Why that game? Why not a different game that doesn't have that stuff? Look up Silent Hill. Good luck. Oh, I, I will. For you. I will. I got you. Yeah. Triangle Girl is my Sweet. banner Sweet. on Twitter. Yeah. It's so true. Tri Triangle Girl got the She gives the worst heads like shoving a protractor up your dick. Oh my. <laughs> See, I'm I didn't not, say I'm that. Not, I'm quoting. I'm not up on I'm this. I'm quoting that from, from Pat from Two Best Friends Play. I'm not up on this, so. Ouch. <laughs> it's Pyramid Head's sister. She's waiting for Senpai to notice her. <laughs> Everyone's face palming in their head. <laughs> okay, uh, any, uh, can, go look at chat. Explain chat. Talk to chat. Look at chat right now. I can't see I chat. Oh, they're talking. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the character. Yeah. Like the, <laughs> Why the play the name game is when you can watch Chico. YouTube playthroughs to keep your hands free? <laughs> you guys get a gold star <laughs> in this chat we encourage perviness just as much as we don't get kicked off but we encourage perviness <laughs> speaking of which is Grim here 
No! Well, Grim hasn't switched over to the new time. Mm. <laughs> These pe you people in your Rule 34 talk about that. See? Always back to hentai. <laughs> always back to hentai. On you. It's always you that starts the discussion, too. It's not your right fault. Right there. Right there. It just happens. No, it's not me. It is you. I didn't, say, mm -hmm. I didn't say it was your fault, but I did say it was you. Every time. Every time. Hey, I'm try. talking about trying. I'm talking about Pyramid Head's sister. I'm not talking about any of that creepy stuff. That's creepy. <laughs> I don't hear any of that gross. On a, on a side now, let's note, talk about like Skeet Fighter. Now let's talk about those nurses from <laughs> Silent. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me go back for it. <laughs> oh! You people and your Five Nights at Freddy stuff. That's gross. That's sick. You're freaking weirdos. Now back to the nurses of Silent Hill. <laughs> you know, oh, Jeremy had watched it. Jeremy has not been subdued to the, uh... Subjected. subjected. I thought subjected. you said, like, Subject. seduced by the nurses. If he would have been subdued, he would have accidentally hit himself in the head with his hammer. Then he would have been subdued. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, subjected. They're nice. Yeah. I like it when I like, I like, I like seeing the, the cosplays. I'll bet. Jesus. <laughs> hey, I'm not like that Deadpool guy who just goes up and starts groping girls. That's With creepy. What a weirdo. Dude, this entire is... show has turned into hentai. Entire well, let's, show. What do you want? Triple X Alex is now a thing. Alex. Alex with no. three X's yep. is now a thing. No. Is Chat that, has no. made it a thing. Dude on the back of his neck. Chat has an made it a thing. It's a thing now. Chat. You give me that gold star back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you another one. <laughs> no. Oh, stop it. it. Chat, stop it. Just, okay. So. so, speaking of hentai, did anyone see the new Helsing Abridged? <laughs> oh, yes, oh I did. yeah. They did one yeah. for Halloween, didn't they? It's only My friend Halloween. Only introduced me to that whole series. And I'm like, something's burning. Thumbs up. <laughs> and that is what convinced me to follow Curtis on Twitter. It, I didn't like it as much as some of the other episodes, but I realized why. It's because there's no it, Alucard. There's no Alucard. And that's not their fault. That no, the he's show. just not really in that particular OVA. Um, but his line at the end was hilarious. Something, something burning. <laughs> Anderson did it. And all of the references they're making to Anderson and the Boondock Saints did it. Because mm -hmm. they had mm -hmm. uh, the Dropkick Murphys and all that mm -hmm. nonsense going on. With yeah, them. I just love how they played the Dropkick Murphys. It was good. Sir Integra, London Bridge! Is it falling down? It's falling down! Falling down! Falling down! <laughs> My fair lady! Yeah, lady! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That was good yeah, writing. Just, they're really good at writing yeah. and, and editing. the song, it's everything! He was having such a good day. <laughs> and you killed him. I like how little I like how little Karibo voices the Nazi guy. Cause he has like attached to Team Four Star now. And he has like a full Yu-Gi-Oh abridged, which is on oh, yeah, their he's website the one who now, started which I haven't watched. Thing. But yep, you, little Karibo started the whole <laughs> he started the abridged trend, little Karibo. Yu-Gi-Oh abridged did did it first. Really? I did actually not know that. I'm pretty sure it, it was it was Yu-Gi-Oh abridged it. Early ones. Although I still say Team Four Star did it best. Yeah. Well, it was. Oh yeah, was, I would deny that for a second because they've been. But I like a Yu-Gi-Oh abridged started the uh, screw the rules I have money thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> screw the rules I have money says Kaiba. I'm not wearing hockey pads. <laughs> Sorry, that's all that voice <laughs> made me think of. <laughs> I'm not wearing hockey pads. <laughs> so let's oh, complain about Assassin's Creed now. Yeah, because we're, Dude, we're effectively get on in the that. game thing. I will sit here and drink my wine and listen to you guys complain. So Ubisoft look, is killing themselves. Ubisoft is the new EA. And we all now, know what's going to happen. Here's the interesting thing about that. Around the time that um the whole Watch Dogs controversy happened... I told uh, my friends, like, they're worse than EA right now. That's what I think. And they're like, no, no, EA's still the worst. They're absolutely the worst. Are you crazy? 
And over time... Have, okay, heads up, heads up. We have been asked by chat. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to spoil it. But I over time... I haven't played it. <laughs> more and more people... Uh, more and more things Ubisoft did wrong. And approaching Assassin's Creed Unity, people were saying, this is really buggy. <laughs> like, well, it's to be. really buggy. Now, this was still pre-release. This was not an official review copy. Now, Ubisoft never released... They, they didn't give the reviewers review copies until after the game was out. Um, the, the review embargo lifted three hours, I believe, after, like, it was, like, 9 a.m. Pacific time that day. So that's, we, like, so right up in the... Then. We knew it was going to be bad because the review embargo People, happened. Consumers were already the streaming released. the game. They were showing everyone the bugginess, the glitches, mm -hmm. everything. And the reviewers couldn't, t they couldn't warn people. They couldn't say, don't play this game. It's so buggy. They couldn't do it. They just had to watch the people go out and buy it and just throw their money away. And, and the part that tore me. They, uh, Ubisoft had microtransactions in the game, oh, but they weren't active during the time of review, so the reviewers really couldn't tell anyone about them. Yep. Yeah, I see what she's dying of. <laughs> yeah, it's I not really too. that wrong. It's not that really that wrong, Nara. Oh my god. <laughs> see, with Assassin's Creed Unity, you actually have... There were tons of glitches from the outset. A large number of them have actually been patched, which is a thing. It's it's going to be a stigma of the game months and months and months down the road. Oh, it's so buggy. It's not really that buggy anymore. But it's besides that, there's a lot of changes to it. Number one, and there we go right there, there's a microtransactions fact in this. Get on, get on this. To be fair. Get, get on this. This is how this works. This is spoiler free, mind you. You go to your map, right? They got all your chests and all your collectibles and things, just like all the other games, right? There are these golden chests that are inaccessible. <laughs> like you go up to the chest, you can't get them until you go on a mobile app for Assassin's Creed Unity and you play their mobile game. You can't get them; they're just always there. You can't touch them unless you do that. And on the mobile app, there are also microtransactions which make people lose their minds. Mind you, they're mostly things that have already been in games previously. Like, if you go, like, actually look at the DLCs for, like, AC4 and 3 and shit like that, you'll yeah. find, like, the time saver packs that light up where everything is on your invent or on your map screen so you don't actually have to go looking for stuff. Or, here's a bunch of free money for real life for, like, $2. Um... It's not really that bad, but the fact that it's there, Pat, like, pisses people all over the way Now, to off. be fair, Ubisoft, they said that one of the first things that they're going to do with the next patch is get rid of those. Really? They did say that. That's cool. Now, the part that bothered me is that they, they, they figuratively at least, they hid them from the reviewers because the reviewers could not access them. Uh -huh. And they couldn't provide opinion on that. Now, it didn't matter anyway because they couldn't post their reviews yeah. until after the game was out. But all of this happened, all of this negative stigma about Unity, that they released a game that was so, so buggy and glitchy. And note that this happened right after Advanced Warfare came out, a uh, game uh, that no one thought would be good. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it was essentially Titanfall. It was Call of Duty... But Everyone loved Fall. Advanced it's, Warfare. It's like, it's jetpacks and sci-fi action. It's not your typical Call of Duty. It plays I, like Halo and shit. Right after I saw the microtransaction garbage, I posted a tweet that, that said, Ubisoft just out EA'd EA. Oh dear You're not wrong. I mean, this is like, <laughs> what was it, like a couple of years back when everyone thought Aliens Colonial Marines was going to be great and the new Devil May Cry was going to be awful. Complete opposites. Yep. Complete opposites. And here's, and it the, just here's, the, again. Ki here's the kicker. Later that day, uh, or actually the next day, I saw an article on Forbes that said, Congratulations, Ubisoft. You are the new EA. That's and I'm place. like, I called it. And I called it. 
the nature of the game itself is also completely it's a different issue because it's a system shock to people who play Assassin's Creed games because you released Rogue and Unity at the same time, right? Rogue is the stuff that we know. It's essentially, I got it. I got both of them. I have yet to really dip into Unity, but I've actually been playing Rogue. And Rogue is more of what we know. It's the ship combat from 4. It's a lot of the stuff from 3. It actually has some great storyline stuff from 3, and it's really not a spoiler at all because you have, like, a young Achilles talking to an old Atawale right out the gate. So it's really the bridge between 3 and 4. And the stories and stuff that goes on with that is really, really interesting. And also you can get Viking armor. Just throwing that so, out there. I mean, judging from what you're saying and from a lot of the things of I know of people who have played it, Rogue is actually the better game. It's a little bit it's better. It's the but safer game. It's way... The, Unity is play is way different. The controls mm -hmm. and the whole idea behind the game is way different. Get ready for your minds to be blown, right? Assassin's Creed Unity is a stealth-focused Assassin's Creed game. Ooh, stealth in Assassin's game? Yeah, go fucking figure. I mean, combat's actually difficult again. You don't have combo chains anymore. You did Good, because like, that, that made combat just a... You can't have a whole street full of people, and you just kill them all and stand there in a mass of bodies and be like, well, shit. It was kind of Ubisoft's idea of how to make the Creed games... All the complaints of it's too easy. Well, hey, it's not it's not too easy anymore. Now, you um, actually, have a cover mechanic. You hide behind stuff. It's in response to uh, oh yeah, I'll let you finish. I just wanted to answer a question in the chat. Oh, kind of because they said that the like story from Unity. They well they they said know, um yeah. you know microtransactions don't always suck, and uh, they don't. And I have an example: uh, Bravely Default on the 3DS. Um, it's that uh, it's uh, that RPG made by Square Enix that Which supposedly play, sort of takes. I just don't want to buy a 3DS for. Uh -huh. Get it? It's and the thing is, everyone's like, how does it do microtransactions well? Well, it basically just gives you a shortcut. That's it. It now the the reason that I think that's okay is that that you can either pay real money, but the game lazy. does not. But the game does not get any harder if you don't. Yeah. It's simple. It, it, it doesn't make it any easier or harder. It just gives you, because because there's this, you can buy these special items that basically freezes time for all your enemies. So basically it just, you know, lets you just attack them as long as you want. You don't have to buy these. You still feel well enough equipped that you can handle them without doing this. It's really just a sake of convenience. Um, there's a side quest that lets you sort of rebuild the town that was destroyed, and you can do microtransactions to speed up production there. But it really doesn't mean you you don't feel like you you're out of a loss afterward. What what are you doing? Jeremy shifted shifted himself, but now he's no longer center. Oh. So I'm trying to shift him back. Oh, sorry. Pressure <laughs> with her mind. Um, <laughs> There you go. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's, there are, there are useless microtransactions you don't ever have to touch in Unity. Um, the issue with it is the way they did it is there are giant gold chests on your map that every time you open your map you'll see them. Yeah, they shove it in your face. And it's Pretty being shoved in your face, which is a pain in the ass. Look I at like this the big fact, shiny gold chest. Don't you want it? There's actually a few more RPG elements in Unity, like you can customize each piece of your armor to different styles and stuff <laughs> so you can actually have a but they all have different stats attached to it it's kind of an RPG Chad, you guys are build. weird no no I haven't <laughs> if you were curious <laughs> no I was laughing at the oh god I can see myself out of his window <laughs> <laughs> I haven't um <laughs> Nora. That's a special guy. I so like I mean, I mean <laughs> like it, it was too. this was just this this woke everyone up and it was just the the tipping point where everyone's like, yeah, Ubisoft is really just they're, Isn't they're killing this themselves. Is this their second no. fail or third there's, fail? 
Oh well, well the deal. because Watch Dogs and Watch then Dogs Watch Dogs was, was just overhyped. It I wasn't really don't actually think it was a full on fail. It wasn't really that positively reviewed. It was meh, which is a thing. But I think we're really getting back into the the real thing, which was the change of staff that happened over at Ubisoft way back, like right around Assassin's Creed Two. I forget his name. He has a very French name, and I don't exactly. A very French name. <laughs> it was a very French name, but it's the guy who actually wrote the story for Assassin's Creed. Where you noticed when Assassin's Creed One, especially in the modern day storyline, there was a sense of building. In Assassin's mm -hmm. Creed Two, there was a sense of building with Desmond in like the modern day shit. Oh yeah. It felt like you wanted to see the next game because you wanted to find out what happened. That's yeah, what, that's I mean, what yeah. I got out of that, and then in. Brotherhood and uh, I just completely got turned off by Desmond over time. As the games See, went on, I just became more disinterested in this guy. Uh, originally, the game was it's supposed to be three games. Period. That's it. One, two, three. It was a trilogy, and it was supposed to be done. Catch is the guy who wrote the story told that to Ubisoft, and they went, "Yeah, nope, we're going to milk this series for all that we want," and they fired him. <laughs> They actually fired the guy who wrote the story for the game. He's off doing his own company now, but that's the reason that there was this big drawn-out space with Brotherhood that and That makes Revelation. a lot of sense. That's why the ending of 3 was so dulled, because you could tell they were building up for that to be a big apocalyptic finish that was that going makes to be a, a ton of good sense. story, but they blunted it so they could keep the series going. And now... They don't know what the fuck to do with the modern day story because it's this nameless protagonist who's not actually doing anything because people were always. It's not even a protagonist. It's just this. It's there. It's, it's there. It's, and a, it's, it's a way to tell a story. There's no person there. It's and they kind of misinterpreted the whole point of people saying, oh, "I think the modern day story is dumb. I think Desmond is dumb," because they kept it. They kept the modern day story going, but. They, that's not what fans wanted. What fans wanted was just let's take that whole modern day thing out and let's just go relive Assassins and just pretend we're in the Animus. We don't need to actually say, yes, you jumped in an Animus and here's the retarded FPS walking around shit doing things. They just wanted, let's go back in time and be people and live their lives out. That was a thing. But I uh, think that... um. I actually I, – I wrote a lot of articles about the Assassin's Creed series over the course of Unity's development. Um, the number – like I wrote that the, the story is imploding upon itself and what you just said basically just puts the whole thing in perspective. Like they don't have a direction anymore. They fired the guy who had all of the ideas. I'm going to see if I can actually dig this up for you. And I also wrote that like they are wasting the animus. They're, they're using the same kinds of locales. They're going to France because it has all these buildings and all these people. So uh -huh. we need to show how many people we can show on screen. We need to show all these skyboxes. And here's the thing. They released – someone asked them, why don't you make one in Japan? You know, like feudal Japan. Doesn't that sound cool? And they said, no, that that's a stupid idea. And then they sort of did. They openly just said – this is a bad idea. That's why we're not going to do it. And that's why they put a katana in Assassin's Creed Rogue. And that's why they released that Chinese girl's little whatever. I mean, now, now the thing with the with the we, we I kind of talked about this when it first was announced. I'm like, it's a small budget game in China, so they're kind of sort of testing the waters. And if it turns out to be good, and they can do a lot about with it, maybe they could make a big. But the thing is that there's not enough buildings, there's not enough people, they can't they can't flaunt the next gen tech. And it's just there's Ubisoft has been between the watchdogs graphics controversy, between the gender assassin controversy where they made the outright terrible excuse. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. Like I don't care if there's a female assassin in there or not, but don't say it's too hard. That's just a, a very, very, very bad excuse. The fact that they absolutely hate PC gaming. Yeah. Because yeah. 
That was actually because a big you, change this time. Because Uplay sucks. Unity Optimization was, sucks. Unity actually was released on PC the same day it was everything else. Yeah, so it that was a shock. That did that still didn't work though. But. No, it, well, it didn't work on any consoles to be fair. But that's an important change, I think, because usually they're like, "Fuck it, these guys could wait two months." Okay, or longer. so so tell me, what? How how did the whole FPS debate play out? Was it still only released in 30 FPS? Or did yes. they change it? Oh no, that For PC? happened. Yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty actually. sure that it was kept at 720, 30, 30, or yeah. 900. And for the FPS. person who just asked whose name I can't honestly pronounce, uh, the... Rogue did not actually get a PC release yet. I think it um... will, actually. But it's still on 360 PS3. Still last-gen stuff. Just call him Taco. 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 Okay. <laughs> Just talk, call him now, Taco. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it was it was complete parody, and I think that um, I'm, I still don't think <laughs> that should have happened. You don't want to know. Oh. You don't want to know. <laughs> Just, no. Do I? Okay. No. Alex can be the one to tell you all about that on his YouTube channel. <laughs> What? <laughs> Alex on what are you furries. talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. We're talking about Chad. <laughs> Alex on furries. That's the next video what, you're going to do. What, the mod or the furries? The furries. The furries. No, I don't do furries. I'm not like that. Those weird Sonic fanboys who are like, this is my original character. The connections are made now that were not made before. I see you. Wait, do, <laughs> I, although I do have a lot of Sonic games on my YouTube channel. You do. I did play That's Sonic much. Boom. You know why they call him mm. Knuckles, right? Ooh. Ooh. Because he has knucks. Okay, now, mind... Chat? I apologize. <laughs> this is going to be good. The echidna has the weirdest oh, penis oh God, no more, but of all nah. time. Of all time. It has five prongs on it, and it's opposable. So they he literally have a fist for a dick. Blame him. That's why and they Knuckles call him Knuckles. Knuckles is an echidna. That's why they call him Knuckles. That's what I'm going with. Yeah. So those aren't There's Knuckles on his hands. Uh, they're not talking about his actual hands. They're talking about... Oh, yeah, they're doing <laughs> the nipples. I keep trying <laughs> to find about Alex XXX's podcast on hentai sites, but I can't read <laughs> Japanese, so it's incredibly <laughs> difficult to navigate. Alex... <laughs> I, 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 they're not there. Sorry. <laughs> a link would be appreciated. <laughs> I, I cannot provide that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chad, you're, you're encouraging this behavior from her. You're just going to keep, you're just going to keep making her laugh at me. Uh, That's the goal, I think. That is, I think, the goal. It works out. Oh, God, I gotta find this. So back to Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yep. I'm still trying to look up exactly what this guy's name is, because it's not on a lot of the... Oh, the person who... Yeah, the original left. writer. Because it's, like, it's not on Ubisoft's thing, it's not on Wikipedia anymore. A lot of the reviews... Anymore. A lot of the reviews I've been seeing of Far Cry 4, on the other hand, have been okay. There have been some technical problems, but they've been... It's been a lot better than Unity. Tentacle problems. <laughs> yes, <laughs> tentacle my problems. Favorite, my favorite thing I've seen for Far Cry 4 so far it was actually a Uplay thing. Because somebody had Steam up, and it tried to play the game, and it opened up in Uplay. And Uplay went, thank you for choosing Uplay. This game will now launch in Steam, and they're like... Because it launches in Steam, which launches in Uplay, which launches in Steam. What? <laughs> but, yeah. Nara, you're next. Grim was first. <laughs> you're next. We've got a new one. We got Maybe a new one. Grim. He's making a list. <laughs> making a list. Maybe it's just the oh, new Grim. Maybe he just reincarnated. We don't know. That's probably Grim in disguise. <laughs> What is up with Sween and this freaking sex stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I have mods for reason. He's been talking. He keeps been talking about people like fucking waffle irons and chewing <laughs> cunt waffles. Sween has a now, waffle the, the, fetish. The, the, the nipples. <laughs> the nipples. The, the, 
the nipples the echidna one is actually referencing a sonic comic where it was just kind of making fun of sonic and knuckles comes up to sonic he's like hi i'm nipples the echidna and he has like and he has his hands up close and they aren't knuckles they're like snips yes interesting it was it's 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 a, it's a pretty funny video actually <laughs> At the end, it has Sonic uh, making out with the girl from Sonic 06 with Tong. What comic doesn't end with that, I guess? Fair enough. <laughs> that's Let's, kind oh, of Oh, Sonic f- fans. You're so, that's why I love the bad Sonic fan art Twitter account, because you find the best stuff there. It's all just stupid, stupid garbage. Fair enough. In other news, Sanic. Sword Art Online has taken a very interesting turn. Oh god, is it like a legitimate show now? Kinda. Kind of? Kinda. Asuna's a- going away. Ah, she gets her own part of the show now. Oh my Wait, god. what? Yeah, oh, I there's... thought she was officially leaving the no. show because she's going to no, an no, no, high school. No, 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 no. She gets her own official part of the show now. If you... Notice by the opening, like, she joins a whole new guild, and Kirito's not even anywhere near the opening. Like, yeah. So Why, so why are they together then? now? Kind of, sort of, yeah. Like, why are they together? They don't interact anymore. Long-distance relationships, because he's a real man. Yeah. And real men don't give up on their women. They were like right next sex, to each sex. other in the first season. Yeah, and then and now, now... Yeah. They didn't do anything. She, he was right there, and he didn't take it. Again, what a dumbass! The hentai obsession is exposed. You cannot hide it now. <laughs> she, wa- she wanted him. She said it herself. They make oh, reference. Oh, you're such a dumbass. Oh they do make Punch reference in face. this new episode about, oh, you remember the time where you saw my bedroom? And it was like, uh-huh. I remember the cooking. And it was, she was like, oh, is that all you think about is food? It was like... He just wants well, her, to, her to cook for him. He doesn't want anything else. Yeah. He to, be doesn't fair, want, a, to be fair, the woman's a damn good cook and you should not turn that down. Ever. Just throwing it out there. It's true. What's the... They're separate. Like, you can't have a main couple. You they're separate all the time. Oh, you can. You can. Because right now, we're witnessing exactly why. Because it makes you froth. Specifically. <laughs> it has to get you people. Specifically Let's, the ones. The that's shipping. not mention frothing. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Let's just, inspires, why didn't they die at the end of the first season? It inspires Why didn't they rage? die? That's why when they dangle the carrot of them possibly getting <laughs> together talk again. Let's dangling either. <laughs> Shut your damn whore mouth. <laughs> Three-fourths of this series has had no point. Well, it's... it's except all, to see his creepy shows, sister's pal. creepy frickin' freaky body. But, okay, so That's Excalibur, there, like, the episodes, like, the... We're, like, skipping, like, no one's business through this entire season. Like, at first, it's like, okay, we're going to deal with, you know, the freaking gun gale online, whatever it was. That's pretty much what she was saying. No, I like agree st- with that. That's pretty much what she was saying. Alex, and- translation with three X's. I was right there. <laughs> Why didn't you take me, senpai? <laughs> I did not know that seven out of two women have vaginas. I did not know that. <laughs> Nara, all of the gold stars. I but- like so all of the things we we've skipped around she so told much. him to take his clothes off yes she he didn't she get it told him to do it he's an anime male he doesn't have any form of intelligence on purpose see she did not ask she said like, what are you staring now, for get undressed let, let me that's put what she way. said the that's best, what she said of course you I remember what she said don't you the best way I've heard it put. I don't comparing, know how. I, uh, Log Horizon. <laughs> You're not going to win, again. man. You have Kirito, who's an idiot, and just mans He's his way dumb, through everything. Stupid idiot who I want to punch his face. And you have Shiro, who smarts his way through everything. The the, the thing is, Kirito is dritzed. Shiro is Dresden. Shiro should kick his ass. I'd it's like to see that. 
It's because he doesn't have, like, Kirito is a typical anime male character, and that's why I don't no, like it. No, it really is. He's, he really he's, is. He's so he cannot do, he's just super impressive at everything that he does in a video game. He's just super good at fighting, he's super good at everything. Even if he's never played the thing before, he's going to be super great at it, because the only way he can actually deal with any form of problem is to just overcome it with sheer force by fighting. Okay. There's a way for things like that, but there's like no real strategy involved. Kirito is a he cunt. Just, he, he is. He's he a completely cunt. is. <laughs> but uh, the only way he deals with problems is just by fighting harder. If he runs into something he can't, like a problem, he fights harder and he wins. That's it. It's, I mean, that's so base, it. Yeah, he's like every shonen <laughs> hero ever. Naruto. In, in uh, Log Horizon, you have a smart, not strong hero who outmaneuvers his opponent, and that's damn interesting to watch. No, it's to, true. Oh, it really must is. fight harder! At it's, least Naruto's over now. At least that series is done. Although they're okay, going to make a sequel on a, series. On a whole side note of things, this entire thing is reminding me of Laughing Coffin, the guild on Arcade right now, Naima Server, whose leader is named as Kirito. Is he a cunt? Kirito. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, kind of. Kirito, you dumbass. If a watching. girl ever comes up to you and tells you to get your clothes he ha- off. His co-leader is named Asuna. So at least the two of them are getting some action. But. Hopefully. But, well, watch, they probably won't. Now the word is this is shit for sure. That's true. But, no, seriously. Like, and this Kirito has nothing is like a to hacker. Do in the fa- and he's like a gold <laughs> spammer. And he's saying that he's part of Laughing Coffin. And he owns this giant gill of like one trillion... Like, players? Dude, like, Kirito is, like, famous, and people do not understand where Laughing Coffin has come from, and for those of us who have actually watched Sword Online, being like, Kirito would never, never run Laughing Coffin, for one. For one. couldn't run it. Yep. It's so true. Kirito, Kirito, she was, she told him to take his clothes off. And this has nothing to do with not embracing a masculinity. He's just stupid. He's stupid. Girl ever did that to me. You'd probably sit there in shock and okay. be trying to figure Speaking out how I'd be in do. shock for about Speaking one, this, for about no, five you'd be, seconds. Alex, read what Nara just wrote out loud. It would be disrespectful out loud. Out loud. To, to out, loud. To her. out loud. Read it. Why is it that Light in Death Note does not use the Death Note to force his victims to lay him, then wander out into the street and die? Part two. Why haven't you wrote that fanfic of that? (laughs) Well, I don't write fanfictions anymore because that's not fun to do anymore. anymore. There was a phase. Yeah, I was like like in middle school. And then you realize that, hey, all of these characters, I'm having more fun writing about the original characters than I am about these characters that I have no control over. So I'm like, forget that. I'm going to be a real writer instead of a fiction writer. Fan fiction. You know, Although, to I be think fair, this podcast has gone where we didn't expect it to go. But I'm not minding this. <laughs> I'm not really minding this. Kirito's a dumbass. I'm going to punch him. And then I was just like, oh no, Kirito. And I'm going to be like, you didn't care about him. He was never there for you. Go find someone else. I th- I'm sensing fan fiction brewing on the horizon about this. I don't write Kira, fanfiction. Kira to, leave, it to the, I, I, leave it to the viewers. Kirito becoming unseated by the heroic Alex. I just want to kick his, his face. Place. If it was, a, I'd write a fanfiction <laughs> of me just punching him in the face over and over again. That's it. Fanfiction of the year. He'd take it like a girl. He kind of looks like one. But I, I don't know though. Like I this, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what happens with this new sec, like section of Sword Online, though. Like, so what does that actually entail? What is it it that she's going to do? To be fair, at least Asuna exists now. Okay, so Asuna is pretty much going to go into this whole other guild, and they're like, come help us, please help us. And, like, the Sleeping Knights is, like, that other guild. And I'm just assuming this off of the opening, but she actually, like, really becomes, like, good friends with them because Kirito's not there. The people who are part of... Like, their previous guild is not there. Like, they're not there at all. 
it's only Asuna and a whole new cast. Like, a whole new cast of people. So she's gonna be the stupid Mary Sue now. Yeah, like, she's taking <laughs> over as the main character. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm interested to see how this plays out. I'm more interested in this girl who's supposed to be unbeatable, though, and seeing how that works out. And I remember something about an episode... You're a piece of shit, Nara. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are. Oh dear God. But that's why we're keeping you. <laughs> that's awesome. I miss Grim. At least he didn't overdo it on this. Keep overdoing He wasn't this it. bad. It's okay, Nara. It was Grim. Um, You're but... encouraging everyone to ridicule me, Nara. You're next. You're on the list. I got my death note. Wait. You gonna eat a Go potato on. chip now? <laughs> Take this potato chip and yeah. eat it. And then they start with like, it plays and then it plays Rules of Nature from yeah. uh, Metal Gear Rising. I can't take this shit anymore. I was gonna say, like, good thing I'm pretty toasty right now. Great. Everyone's gonna be drunk. <laughs> You get to go on yeah. a tentacle pit. Like like in uh, Amagi Brilliant Park, there was a tentacle pit. Shit, what am I drinking? There was. I'm but the girl, sure. the girl yandereed her way, before, uh, so she never oh. fell in the tentacle pit. The, the stupid stuffed animal characters fell in the tentacle pit. The girl didn't. She yandereed her way out of it. What's typical? She did. Uh, what's she did. She alcohol like, content for. Snub? She did the super mean glare. Depends on what you're talking about. We're talking about rum. Rum. Yeah. Rum. About fifty to fifty-one percent. Uh huh. Yeah. I'd like some rum. That's some stronger rum. rum. Strum. A boosh. <laughs> <laughs> stronger rum. It's not strong. cracking, is it? No. Because no. you can't handle cracking. It's, it's amp. Not that it's, no. Admiral. We went over this earlier. We went over this earlier. It's not that I can't handle Kraken. It's that I can't handle Kraken when I drink two glasses of it. Sorry to right disappoint after another, you, Chad. Choked. And then chase it with mead. That doesn't work so good. It's actually, it's actually Admiral Nelson because he outranks Captain Morgan. <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. I need some more of this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of down to... Half the bottle? I have to try that stuff now. If I ever see a person cosplaying as Kirito at a convention, I will punch them. Oh my and god. Take, and take I'm going to hold you to it. Dude. I'm, I'm going to bring the video camera. And I'm going to film you doing it. And you will be an internet star. <laughs> and I, you know what <laughs> I'm going to tag you as? The I'm going to tag you as? <laughs> Alex. With three X's. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's now a thing. It's now a thing. He needs the three on the back of his neck. Because he's had three strikes. No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 So that, Consuela, no. No. <laughs> so, 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 Jeremy, you've been rather quiet. What's going through your mind? <laughs> I missed this. <laughs> no, it wasn't quite that bad. It was somewhat close to that, but it wasn't quite that bad. No, I'm just... I'm only partially here because I'm tired, but... Hey, aren't nope. you supposed to do a technology thing? <laughs> yeah, that isn't happening today. <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't really think about there being podcast until, like, ten minutes before it happened. That's part of why it took me so long to get online. <laughs> also because no one told me that we'd switch to Skype, so I had um, Google Plus up and running. Ah. Well, now you know. Yeah, so now it I know. was cat. Now I have this awesome layout that I made myself, and that I just copied on. and pasted. Hang on, <gasps> Alex. How do you I effed <laughs> up my layout? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> How do I oh, jump, dude? Jeremy, Jeremy, if we do this at the right time, maybe we can actually <laughs> switch spaces. And then it'll ruin her mind. 
Jeremy, you, ha <laughs> you have a little activist on your side. It says, leave Jeremy alone. Leave, leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> so leave Brittany alone. I just thought about that. I was like... <laughs> Oh my god, I haven't thought about that meme in forever. It was hilarious. The other day someone showed me um, something like, oh, have you seen this thing? It's really cool. And they pull it up and it's like the evolution of dance. And I'm like, that has been a thing for over a decade. Um, yeah. Which that made me feel old as hell. Gosh. What? Fix we can't see you. Is it not? No, we can't. Oh, Jesus. That wasn't me. All I see <laughs> is the wolf logo. There we go. It's not back. It's, yeah. It's back for me. It's not Wait back a minute. for us. Oh, well, guess what? You don't get there it. There it is. Ah! I wanted to be gone. I'm <laughs> tough like Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't think I actually have an embarrassing animation for when I'm not here, do I? Not yet, because you've been here. Yeah. I'm curious now. Now I'm afraid to not be on the cast for what you're going to put in my place, and I think I have an idea of what it's going to be. What embarrassing animation did you put in for me? Oh, I actually found it that one. It was a cute little you're, You tiger. have a tiger for you. It was like a tiger from in somebody's hand. It was a little anime one. Mm -hmm. It was trying to roar, uh -huh. except it's tiny. Tiny, but fierce. So now I can't leave the cast <laughs> for fear Sonia of what so Kat's going to put in my place. I know exactly uh what she's going to put. I love this thing. <laughs> I might get banned off of Twitch for what I put for you. I know. Well, maybe that's good then. Maybe I'm safe then. <laughs> just like an up close picture of just a, an anime girl sweating and with like like you you don't see anything else, just dude, her face. Dude, like I know this is a joke, but you're just confirming them so bad. <laughs> well. To be well, no, no, that means no. that I, I was can't I was thinking them. I was thinking more of just like tits with like tentacles and then have like the wiggling tentacles as like the thing and then the tits are bouncing up and down. That'd be great. Two seconds, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, while I'm thinking about it, I got a question for everyone. Eh. So when I get this thing done, I actually have a little jig set up so that I can make more of them because our conditioning coach at the gym wants a pair of them I want to one. beat tires with. How much do you think I could get away selling one of these things for? Well, I'm sure you can make something. Probably I really much. don't. Well, I mean, it's full size. Like, well, you see it next to my head. Yeah. Well, it's, it depends on it depends on how inches. many. Um, That's for you, Alex. Right there. It depends on Chad how much the materials are. Chad can't see it yet, but I'm about ready to hit the button. And I think that you know what? I'm gonna do it. The who heck is that? It, who thinks it's just a needs, sad octopus? Who thinks this needs to go for Alex's thing? Don't do it. It's just a sad octopus. <laughs> yes, a, but it need needs to be too. a gif. I can't find a good gif yet. This is two seconds of looking. Give me a minute. The other gifts that I'm finding are objectionable. Is that one year? Yes. It so is. I'm safe. How come the know. first thing I type in when I type in tool gif is tentacle yeah tentacle what what do you because the internet is tumblr for what? And, I don't that. yep tumblr has a very 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 black spit of regarding that so you can put whatever dude that's very demonic and not get back where alex's eyes stayed it was like and it had like white and it like froze for a moment Dude, it was very demonic. I'm not going to yeah. search that on Tumblr. I'm sorry, Google. <laughs> <laughs> People are weird on Tumblr. People on the internet are weird. I mean, we're here. Fair enough. Why did I click that? <laughs> <laughs> the number Why one go go away? Your computer now has herpes. <laughs> or sea bugs. Well... Or worms. Well, I'm not seeing any of that stuff. It looks surprisingly clean, considering. AFK. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm leaving this page. I quit. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> but like it didn't even hide it. It was just right in there. The host is gone. We have control of the podcast. Now what? <laughs> yes, we're free from her enslavement. Yes. Oh.
Okay, we're getting into the weird hentai stuff again, man. You gotta yeah. back off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did not even try to make that. You you did that. But um, I am not safe. Never, but, never safe. Yeah, since I have fellow pop culture. I'm sure you can make a lot of money from those things because people will buy them. Yeah, I'm not just not sure how much they'll pay for if they can't lift the damn thing. Because that's you said that was like 25 pounds. Yeah, people are. Well, even like if it I mean, wasn't it's something like cool a, to put a on the mantle. People would want that displayed in their mm -hmm. house. I'm just not sure because I know yeah, once I, like I get the, the first Nerf one toy. done. <laughs> or yeah. support with AFK. GG. How am I the support? Jeez. Great, now we're back. We're enslaved again. Mm -hmm. I mean, wait, wait. I mean, what? <laughs> oh, God. She... Dance, monkeys. Cat glared at Dance. me already today. You guys know more about collectibles. <laughs> Cat glared at me already today. Cat's, I, Such I a like, damn like, home. Hey, everyone. I just tell every well, she's on the she's bottom. Still so she can't <laughs> I don't even. I don't even. There's not enough room for oh. me to moonwalk. <laughs> Mine's no. bigger. Yeah, um, and it probably is. But uh, like I tell Kat to make more videos, and I'm like, everyone tell her to make more videos, and then fucking Picanjo is like, we'll take as much time <laughs> as, as you need. You need. <laughs> yep. But I mean I figure I don't know much about how much collectibles and stuff go for, so... Depends on what it is, what it's made out of, what it does. Um, All the fangirls love Thor. It's quarter-inch steel plate, so it's made out of steel, and what does it do? Um, break whatever you hit it with. <laughs> well, people can like to put that stuff like in their house on display. I think you can... Mm -hmm. Even if it's not used as a prop in a costume, yeah. I still think that people uh, would like huh. to have that. I don't think too many people would want to use it as a prop in a costume. They're not going to be able to heavy. lift it. Yeah. Well, I mean, from... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I'm stronger than most people, and I have trouble playing with that stupid thing. It's well, it's pretty heavy. Will you shut up, Nara? Will you shut <laughs> up? Will you shut up? I'm kind of wishing I could... Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Feed, but, you know. <laughs> Wait, this is awesome! No, Why totally am I the you... tank? You Why have it. You have it perfect, dude. You have it perfect. I don't mind. Well, you are the tank. I don't know. Jeremy and I kind of go back and forth on who tanks in games. Mm-hmm. And every now and then I do <laughs> heal. <laughs> scrub. <laughs> He's the undercute <laughs> scrub. Really? It took me this long to read this. I'm sorry. Yeah, but Nara and I played in World of Warcraft. He knows I'm a healer. Speaking of which, he doesn't know so, anything about but, me. Maybe I'm true. really good. Maybe I'm better than you, Nara. But I'm not a healer in Arcage. I'm DPS. Shibo is my healer. I have a pocket healer. Thank you very much. And so, he's the best healer in A. How about I've actually been looking at Warlords of Draenor? Oh, really? No. It no. looks neat. I don't no. think it's, I don't think I'm gonna no. play it. Do you have two no. hours to log in? No. Yeah, it's, no. there are problems going on right now. I've but been seeing like my my pal been Jules. A while he keeps since I've actually played that game. I haven't played. I never played the pandas. I the last thing I played was some of Cataclysm. So it's been a while since I played. But then again, I played. I am Cthulhu. Since, yes. I played since God. It was like two months. Or like a month into release. I, I think this sums up Kat's feeling on the whole thing. What did you just do? <laughs> I have to click a thing now. <laughs> I must have a sword on me. Dude, that's awesome. No, oh, no, oh. no, oh, <laughs> no. How does that make you feel, healer? healer? There's nothing wrong with the healer. Healer is a very important part of the group. That just means I have to... Who am Dude, I working Shiro with? Has Who's the pink healer? Pants. Okay, Cat was the healer. Pink, I could deal with that. Pinker than my my computer room. Pink pants. What? What about the pink pants in the pink room? Oh, the, let let the let the girl be like the super good melee that everyone likes, and let the guy be the scrubby healer. Your goal is set, Alex. 
I'd have no problem with that, to be honest. <laughs> Good God. Was it Secret I World? Honestly wouldn't. Um, what other game was it that I was the healer? You were the healer in the Secret World. And That's right, because you made it. you healed people. No, there was something people. else. Really? Something else I was a healer in that we played for a while. I can't remember what it was. Can I was summon Bahamut? You sucked Someone in behind. healing in uh, ESO because you would stab people and it would sort of... Not you, Shibo. I'm talking about the figurative person I'm talking about right now. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> yeah, I did end up healing in ESO later on. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah I, I got better say, though, at it. But because... someone had quit by then. I also wasn't wound looking up at you for once, Cat. I was also quitting. Cat quits yeah, at all I kinds was looking, of stuff. I was looking right. at Ray Dog up there. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, but... Like the end game is crap, and since when do you care about end game? Well, you, more <laughs> I was gonna say, game. like, dude. And... <laughs> more than you oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, what the, the way, fuck are you guys talking way, about? By yes, the way, guys, by the way, guys, you are now looking at the raid leader of Group Two for Archage, and we're going to be reading Serpentis on Thursday at 9 p.m. till 12 a.m. You said that. Be sure hey, you use your. Be sure you use your little uh, communicator thing to call your. Uh, mm. Like, wait, what? Who? What did? Who did Shiro call? It's like make sure you're running the town, okay? You know, when he was in the raid, he's I like, you're thinking everything about okay? Natsugu. You're thinking then Natsugu. Natsugu's like, it's like, are you okay? I you're love you. Adorable. Are you sure you're okay? And they spend. Oh my god, that was so funny because they're spending like. <laughs> But A, Are you okay? Funny action. Yeah, B, what the hell is that dungeon? Yeah, I saw the. Why color. should we care? Huh? What the hell is that dungeon, and why should we care? It's the yeah, ten main be... dungeon, and yeah, I'm raid leading. Will... Okay, so that means in about two more months she'll be on to the next game. That's right. Oh goddamn. Pretty much. You know I'm right. Because she has ADD. Well, no, usually about Don't the time you. she becomes raid lead is about the time. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a month or two left before she finds another So she game. has raid lead, dude, dude, raid lead, my... DD? <laughs> no, it's just, a, it just the raids that she deals with has about two months of her tolerance before she freaks out, hates them, burns them all to the ground, and I says, fuck know. this shit. I have some pretty cool people. I Like, yo, <laughs> dog, I got some pretty cool peeps. I got some pretty cool peeps. This is the best story ever. <laughs> I'm just thinking that's, that's exactly because that's exactly the third her personality. Or time I've heard folks. that one. So, <laughs> to be fair, I do some of the bad days do follow her to other games. I remember no, the bad it's days true. Of WoW. It's true. Mm -hmm. But I did raid lead WoW for like ever at one point, and then I was just like, "Fuck this shit! I'm done. <laughs> Get me out of here." You raid led for about two months. Yeah, but then I was top heals for like how long and then I would cry and be like I lost my raid spot oh my god and you make fun of yourself now because you realize how dumb it was it was so true it was so true mm -hmm. I would I would literally you have like, to reach that point though I cried in a corner when I was like they didn't pick me that's one of those other gamer girls not like he was like guys I need your help you got me pinned here get she's not like that get your shit together more dots she is the more person dots. who Mine pins everyone KGP. else also oh, I like, thought people don't the die point around of her. being a girl online was to put no effort in and collect fat loot well I would cannot, you like to borrow this <laughs> Benji Hello, Benji. Um, yeah, fuck shit up. I was gonna say, I don't know. I have, I have a pretty awesome like group of people. Behind She's not me a cam right girl. Now. She's not like one of those people on Twitch who's yep. doing laundry while there's a scene of League of Legends. Dude, you see I know how much where you, hate you see where my neckline of my shirts are, right? That's a thing. My kids are GTFO. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> MS boobs? <laughs> I'm like, the, the, I did have like, MS here's boobs the, for a while. If she wanted people to see them, she would have a low neckline. She wants to play the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she will probably kick your ass while doing it. Or just troll you like she does to all of us. Dude, I troll like no one's business. What are you talking about? This entire podcast has been a I don't know how long trolling session so far. 
largely pointed at Alex. Hate to point yep. it out, but you have you yes. Right. <laughs> Almir Mutes. Fucking <laughs> 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 shit, Almir Mutes. Stop showing so much cleavage. <laughs> yes, Benji. Yes. <laughs> cleavage. Hmm. Dude, it was true. <laughs> Nara, Nara did make my first set of MS boobs. And he what? So, yes. What the? F at, what is at that? One, okay, at one point, th there was a screenshot of me that before I did my whitewash board, and before I like drew my MS boobs, that Nara you gave me. Photoshop. Nara gave me MS boobs. What and the fuck are MS boobs? I do not know what this is. You go into MS Paint and you just go like this. Oh, okay. So MS boobs. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What's he the was, point was, of that? He was hoping for more. <laughs> I'm, I am disappointed. <laughs> but, I won't lie, know, I am disappointed. There. Nara was the first person who gave me MS boobs. So technically shit, he's Nara. a plastic digital surgeon. <laughs> Yep. Piece of shit, Nara. It was because everything I, I ever wanted gone. No, here's here's how I originally set up everything. <laughs> so I would sit. <laughs> I would sit like this. So like you saw my like the top of my boobs, but then I'd have my music bar like right underneath, so it looked oh, like God. if you moved my oh, you mu music everyone. bar that you would see. So then he took my music bar and put Emma's boobs. <laughs> yeah, it was Digital great. plastic surgeon. Yep, it was great. <laughs> Absol absolutely Piece priceless. Shit, You're a fucking piece of shit too, other person. <laughs> now everyone, everyone troll Alex. No, it's uh, Alex with three X's. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Jesus Christ. But no, this this has been we've been trolling him since we got this shit road, and <laughs> that's what we're going to continue doing because we're good at it. We're not good at much else, really. It's like my life, everything I ever wanted. <laughs> that was from a cartoon, by the way. I would not make that up. That does not describe my life. Every quote that we usually make comes from a cartoon. We're from oh. David. Or. <laughs> Yeah, David says, like, um, what did he say? Um, I, I would bathe for that. <laughs> I would bathe for that. that was... uh, uh, so, do we actually have anything else on the agenda to talk about? I don't know that we really I do. I hope so, because I'm kind of getting tired of this trollishness. I'm not. <laughs> hey, I'm totally Vin Diesel. So, Badass. does this sum up oh. that uh, Sonic game you were talking about? Well, let me see. It's Penny Arcade, so it probably does. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. I like how it's just blue goo. I like Alex. how it's blue goo. What? What? You're gonna hate Uh-oh, I'm gonna click the... What? What? Oh, wait for you to find out. Uh-oh. And we I'm wait. I'm freaking scared. And we so I have a new long-term plan to get done by this summer. There's a CNC Stop class. <laughs> 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 what did our mama do? I'm on the outside of this joke. I don't like it. Yeah, same here. What did our mama do? Stop it! <laughs> Why'd you tell him that? <laughs> Wait, no. wait. Zen way. 9 plus 10 equals 21. Get this wrong. Get this wrong, I dare you. Get it wrong, motherfucker. See, I know you're doing this just because you think it's funny, so I kind of have to favorite it, but if I favorite it, then everyone's going to know. <laughs> okay, no, for those what? of you who want to know what's going on, go look at his Twitter right now. Go look at Well, Alex's they're not going to see it because it's it's on your Twitter. Okay, wait, then wait, go look no, at my No, Twitter. don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it. Here we go. Dad, you'll get a virus. <laughs> crash your computer and delete all of your WoW saves. I don't have a WoW save. Well, then you're. Me neither. Wait, well. 
Well, whatever. Everything's linked into my Steam pile. It'll delete those <laughs> too. <laughs> oh dear God, Andy, They're you're amazing. What do they do? Is it more making fun of me? Because that's all I we've just, been doing. For the past I just got sent a chocolate dick. Why did you get sent a chocolate dick? <laughs> because his roommate decided to send me a chocolate dick. Why? <laughs> did that really happen? Yes. God damn it, Andy. <laughs> I've been preoccupied, Jesus. <laughs> Apparently, this is happening to me too. I didn't notice about Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda See? glad I can't get picture messages. <laughs> yeah. Do yeah. Oh, it says, "See, you respond. Josh has been ignoring me." I have headphones on. Leave me alone. <laughs> What's the filling? Is it filled with something? No, it's like what? one of your cream filling. Boston cream. Are you seriously cream wanting? Filling. Dude, okay. And you wonder why you Here's got your nickname, dick. buddy. <laughs> yeah, I've seen worse. Should you really I'll be putting that you on your later. stream? I don't know. Yeah, but I they're just gonna find did. you. It yeah, happened. it happened. We they have to deal with it. It, it, it. Five seconds, seriously, five seconds. Chocolate dick, come on. Oh. There's wor There's worse things that have been shown, like man boobs. Come on. It's only man chocolate boobs. in the shape of a dick. Come on. Man boobs. <laughs> Oh no, so scandalous. That's right. I don't want to see that. <laughs> I'm the tank. I gotta deal with this shit, right? <laughs> see, now, Disgusting okay. human flesh. All of you fan artists out there, right? Don't. Draw don't. this party. Draw this raid party. <laughs> Draw this dungeon party right here. <gasps> Dude, you think that'd it be amazing. Be. Do it. That'd be amazing. And who is I could probably get my friend Matt to do that. gotta scroll up. Who is the person that said that I was the tank? Where was that? I think it was Nara. No, no, don't. Me, I don't want to be the scrub. Because I think I've gone in a big mention about uh, my medieval nonsense and the crap that's always in my background is actually my shield. So I just realized we only have fifteen minutes. We do. <sighs> yeah, you guys got distracted doing something. <laughs> Well, we've been making fun of you the whole time, so. Oh, he can do that all day. Oh, so they have a CNC plasma table at school. Okay. That if you can draw something in CAD, it'll cut it out, just like at a plate or sheet metal. And I can take Pepecora and flatten any 3D model. And I figured out a way to import from Pepecora and AutoCAD. And I have a 3D model of an Iron Man suit. And so I'm thinking that plus the Thor hammer plus the Assassin's Creed blades plus a shield, a Captain America shield. Then I need to get a lightsaber and a little crown that just says King of Nerds. You will be the king of Comic-Con. Predator cannon for the shoulder. They Ooh, will, good one. People will I like that. Surround you and bow it down fits. to you. It's not taken up yet. The slot's free. <laughs> mm-hmm. And if anyone argues with me, I throw the hammer at them. Oh, well, geez. and then you'll be very much arrested because you won't be able to run away at all. Yeah. Just I'm not going to lie, though. Fly. As soon as this hammer's done, before I polish it and get it all nice and shiny, I'm going to take it to a junkyard and try and convince them to let me throw it at a damn car because I want to see what it's going to do. <laughs> Dude, that would be amazing. I'm, I'm what does a 35-pound hammer... <laughs> thrown at a car do dibs to put that on my youtube channel i currently am getting rid of a car <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll see how that goes hmm. everyone's all quiet and shit yeah i was gonna say no that's cnc ask plasma table stuff, though it's... Chat. Ask, there's like eight of you there ask us stuff yeah we have things Dude, we'll ask turn questions into a... we'll turn it into an AMA session. Ask make sure you anything. make a Skyrim stance. Just be sure you want the answers. I'm, I'm pouring my third glass of wine. Good girl. <laughs> I'm loopy and tired and have to get up early in the morning to try and figure out this stupid car crap so I can get to school now. Dude, third glass of wine in two hours. Come on. 
Bring it on, chat. Bring it on. I don't, I don't know if they have anything left. I don't think so. I think they blew their load already. Bobo's about to give you the begging order. Uh, there are seven of us here, so kind of short there. There's only fucking four, what, well, five of us here? Four. Yeah, I keep thinking Karth's water <laughs> wow, world thing is... you've had a little too much. No, uh, it's because there's normally five, because I'm actually looking at the chat, and Karth's water world gif keeps making me think there's actually a person there. <laughs> it's like, and <laughs> us and Kevin Costner. <laughs> Dude, if Come we on, had guys, <laughs> that was more Nicholas Cage. Can I have wine? No. Oh, My oh. Wine. Speaking of Nicholas Cage, did anyone see that God. he was in that current Left Behind movie? No. Yeah, he's in the Left Behind movie. That actually has production value. It's Christian Mathos. Really? Huh. It's terror. It's so bad. Super duper duper bad, and it's hilarious. Well, I mean, He'll where else is he gonna go after um, Ghost Rider? <laughs> I'd of like, course, that makes sense. I'd like the second one, but... Yeah, me too. Come on, guys, I pissed fire in that movie. Even I thought that was over the top. <laughs> well, I've been watching way too much cinema sense lately. Uh, uh, what wait. was the game you guys used to play when you were young that we don't want your kids to play? Hmm. <clears throat> I can't really think of one. Games I grew up in the 80s, man. All the games were tame back then. <laughs> What was there a game you guys played when you were young that you don't want your kids to play? Don't want our kids to play? No, I want to expose any children I have to the worst crap imaginable, so they'll be ready for this I was shit. Say, the only games I could think of that I wouldn't want my kids to play are because they're just terrible. I, but... don't, I don't know though. Alex are, are, we games games? We are we talking about video games? Are we I wouldn't talking care about, if my like, kids played that. They're going to have to find out about sex eventually, so. <laughs> His answer is Max Payne. Because it was bad? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'd want uh, my kids to play, like, not video games, but, like, generic, like, kids games, like Cops and Robbers and Cowboys and Indians, because, dude, one's racist and one's vulgar at this point. Like, come on. We'll just like, rename them. Call them something else. Call it, video like... Games. Okay. Specifically video games. Well, WoW is actually a thing. MMOs have their own special problem. Because as soon as I got the MMO monkey off my back, I started having fun with games and shit. Like, Dude, I still I have had a the good MMO time. monkey. Yeah. Yes, you do. At it's... this point, I think it's an MMO gorilla. Dude, I have an MMO problem, and maybe I need an intervention, but excuse me. No, I you play... seriously do. I played. I, okay. I can't really. I can't really think of a game I'm that I wouldn't want to play. I'm going to confess my sins. Play. I pl I paid sixty dollars on Arcade so far, on top of a monthly subscription. And dude, that game is shit. Is it <laughs> and shit? I still play it. I still love Arcade, but I feel like I'm just playing Farmville. Like that's all I feel you like are. I'm playing. PVP Farmville is what you are. So playing. okay, guys, here's really the question. And she makes fun of me for playing worms. Which MMO is all four and or five of us going to get on and play together in this stupid MMO party thing that they came up with? Because they'd watch that. Whichever costs the least money to. Yeah, there's play. that. Well, Arcade is technically <laughs> free to play. Because I just really don't have any have money to spend on that stuff. I say we do something where we have no previous connections and we just start from scratch and just see what we can go from there. And it'll be see, a mess. The thing is with, with fun. a game that I don't want my kids to play, I mean, if I told them I didn't want them to play it, they would play it anyway. That's that would true. probably make them play it more. So I'm you just know like, your non-existent yeah. kids pretty well. No, well, that's kids in general. I don't know. I'd like, to no, have, you're uh, right. I'd like to have a daughter and I'd name her something cool like Zelda. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Going the Williams approach. Rob Williams there. did it, and he got far. Yeah. I've actually, coaching over the years, I've known two Zeldas. So, you what's, wouldn't be the first a, person to do it. <laughs> what's a cool, um, like, uh, game female character that Samus. doesn't have a bag. Bayonetta. I'll call her <laughs> Samus. <laughs> Samus would be I'll call her Samus. I'll call her, hey, it's Sammy. Um, I mean, that's what all the that's what all the creepy people who write write the fan uh, fiction call her.